to the official highlights of the National One Clash between Bishop Stockford and Sale FC. We start the game with Bishop Stockford deep in Sale territory. A messy line-up, but Bishop Stockford have it now as they keep it with the forwards, keeping it nice and tight. Clearly available. Short ball carried up by Appley. Strong carry by the blindside flanker, eventually dragged down by his opposite number, Andy Hughes, the Sale FC captain. Slow, methodical work by Bishop. Pushing Sale back towards their own try line. Another strong carry by the Bishop's forwards. Postlethwaite this time dragging them down as they approach the line. Shorts is the referee. No, 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 release in the field of play. And now Cullen gives it to Appley again. Cut down by the Sale defence. Venturing ever closer to their own try line. It's desperate times now for Sale as Bishop slow it down. An excellent counter ruck by the Dogs. They turn it over. Bradley getting the ball now at the back. Fantastic defence by the Dogs on their own try line. They've managed to repel Bishops. And Lawrence boots it clear. A nervy start for Sale, but an absolute exhibition of counter rucking displayed there by their forwards as they managed to get it clear. Bishop Stortford for dominating possession and territory here as Banks gets the ball away to Lindley. The winger carrying the ball up into the Sale defence. Sale yet again find themselves on their own five metre line. Banks keeping it with the forwards, edging closer towards the Sale line. Banks tapped on. Excellent through legs pass by Cullen and Duff just can't get hold of the ball. 12 roll clear. After the incredible bit of skill by Cullen, Hankins passes, goes awry and Duff would have been in for five and maybe seven you'd think. Yeah. Stortford, they're going to have to settle for three here as the referee comes Red back zone, for the penalty advantage. Warning. Yes. Ominous signs here for Sale as Stortford dominating. Scrum half Banks, who has the first points of the game. Stortford three, Sale FC nil. Stortford again with the ball, this time just outside their own 22. Banks gets the ball away to Cullen. He's counter with the inside centre. And it's Hankins, the fullback with space. Hankins, the horse, flying through down the left hand side of Stortford. Lawrence, the last man, vital challenge, and he gets a good offload away to Scanterbury again and keeps on going. Stortford now, real opportunity out wide. Vital tackle by a dog who pivotal at the winger came off his wing there and Sale survived. What a piece of play there by Stortford. Bishop Stortford again, continuingly putting pressure on the Sale FC defence. Finding themselves inside the dogs 22 again. Crean on Briggs. Good strong play by the hooker. Nice tackle by Postoy on Tomlinson as Bishop Stortford worked the right hand side. Andy Hughes driving tackle, driving Crean into the floor. Oh God. Bishops managed to keep hold of the ball now. As Banks surveys the situation, gets the ball away to Callow. Push it, come on. Patient build up here, now they go with the backs. Bishop Storford. Hankins, he's got space to run again. Excellent covering tackle by Morehouse. John T. Walkley there to help him as well. Bishop Storford carrying on now through Jocelyn Lee. Lawrence and Rockliffe have him as they push him towards the sideline. Good tackle by Connor Doherty. In touch. In touch. Vital defence there out wide by the Sale defenders. He yeah, started off pretty well. Started and incredibly here, Bishop Stortford are still being held to only a penalty. No tries line yet out. in this game. Tomlinson gathers the line up for Bishop Stortford. Pass slightly behind Cullen, but they keep it with the backs. Just on side, they're in half. Banks looking to work the left hand side to the flying Hankins. Gets a little bit of space, but it's taken down by Andy Hughes, just on the halfway line. Banks to Cullen. Short ball, good tackle by Lawrence. Rock off! Bishop Storff now, man. down Thank the left-hand side. Poor pass by Banks, as Appley collects it. And he's broken through the sale defence, Bradley with the missed tackle. Appley with just walking to beat, he goes on the inside! Appley flying towards the try line and he scored! The first try of the game goes to Bishop Storford, and it's James Appley with it. Thanks. <coughs> Tom Banks for the conversion attempt, just to the left of the post, similar position to where he slotted his penalty earlier on in the game. It's a windy day here at Bishop Stortford. Difficult kicking conditions and Banks makes sure with that one. 
giving Bishop's Dort for the 10 to nothing advantage over Sale FC. Right, some dogged defence, Sale really have not managed to get into the game on the offensive side. And here they find themselves on the line out of Bishop's Dort from 5 metre line. Briggs, gathered by Possible Play, and Sale set up the driving ball, a real weapon for them in the previous weeks. Briggs has it at the back as the Otter comes in to give a helping hand. Legal, legal. They're driving on round the right. And they're down, and it's Simon Griffiths who scores. The Sale players celebrate. A try, certainly against the run of play, but really gives Sale a footing back in this game. Try score there confirmed. Simon Griffiths. <coughs> After half time, Sale find themselves down to 14 okay, men. Hold your Connor Doherty's red card. But here they are inside the Bishop's stop for 22. With a really good attacking position. Briggs into Hughes and they set up another driving no. ball. The source of their try from the first half. They peel away to the right. Briggs trying to stretch his legs and gets a great offload away. Yeah, I'm out. So with renewed energy after yeah. the half time break. Ball slows down. Possible play has it at the back of the ruck. Starting to go left and right. Decides upon right. Really does not get anywhere. The sale second rower. Good, sturdy defence this by Bishop Stalford. Briggs and Birchall now, powering through towards the line, three metres out. Parkinson this time, and Birchall takes it on again. He's close and he's over to try! Sail down in numbers, but not on the scoreboard. Dan Birchall it is with the try. The big prop forward charging over from about a metre. And Sail take the lead. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, go ahead. Matt Bradley made absolutely sure with his conversion to add the extra points. And only a few minutes after Dan Birchall's try, Matt Bradley has a chance to give Sale a five point lead with a penalty here, right in the middle of the pitch. Sale down to 14 men. Bradley with the penalty. It's a low driving kick and it's just crept over. Bishop short for 10, Sale FC 15. He's there. Bishop Stortford here, stunned to find himself behind in this game, trailing by five points. Trying to work their way back into it. They're still inside their own half, Banks. Gets them all the way to Cullen as they work out wide to Keane. Keane sees a space, and he's through. Keane, the centre. John T. Rawcliffe brings him down as Keane looks to offload, and he does. Cullen, the fly half, inside ball. Stortford must score here, and it's a penalty. Six. And the referee's reached into his you pocket. We Andy Hughes, ground. yellow card. Cynical bit of play there by the sail flanker, but he you would say necessary. Because otherwise, Bishop Sort was certain to score. And now sail down to 13 men. Excellent attack by Bishop Stortford. And now they have a real opportunity to take I'm the lead looking. back from sail. Hold on. Bye. Bishop Stortford have been stuck on the sail line for Set. about five minutes here. Back to back five meter scrums. It's banked. Gets the ball at the back. Good scrum by Stortford. Banks brought down by Seymour. Looks easy outside. Cullen. Wide ball to Duff. Duff with space. Must score in the corner. And he does. Despite the effort of Paolo Adogu. The extra man telling there. Extra two men I must say. Rob Duff scoring in the corner for Bishop Stortford. The scores are level. 15 all. Incredibly tight game here. Sale with a line out on their own 10 metre line. Briggs to the back. Seymour can't gather it. And it's Appley who picks it up at the back for Bishop Stortford. Appley, the first try scorer of the game, taken down. Cullen now, going to the left hand side. Joss Lindley cutting inside Morehouse. And Lawrence. And he's held up by Kelly. And he's managed to wriggle three. Joss Lindley. And a powerful handoff from Bradley. And Lindley's carrying towards the sail try line. It's Jonty Rawcliffe yet again with the last ditch defence. Bishop Stortford, Cullen on the left hand side. And he scores under the sticks. All done by Joss Lindley, the left winger. Sale so will be very questioning about their defence and the missed tackles there. And George Cullen finishes off. Fantastic move by Bishop Stortford. And it's given them the lead late in this second half. Just Some tired here. legs out there for Sale. Boys, next job. Good, good. Next job. We've got down here. We've got down here. Tom Banks, unsuccessful from his kick way out wide. A much easier conversion here and he adds the extra two. 
Mission store for now. 22 to sales, 15. Just send them on. And the next one, and the next one. Coming into the final five minutes of this incredibly hard fought fixture. Sale FC trailing by seven. They need the ball, but it's Bishop Stork for keeping hold of it. Advantage. 16 Banks on the halfway tackle. line, working the right hand side. Good tackle by Paolo Dogu, knocks the ball free, but Bishop Stalford full on it. Sale desperate to get hold of it. There's Bishop Stalford with the ball, with the penalty advantage. Cullen, little chip kick. They've got numbers there, and the ball falls to Hankins. The fullback bolting through the Sale defence into the 22. Nice pass away. And they've got the offload to Scantlebury who scores the bonus point try for Bishop Stortford. Jack Scantlebury, a dagger in the heart of Sale FC. Another breathtaking piece of skill there by Cullen. Put the kick through. And Hankins, who's been lightning all day, managed to get through the Sale defence. Tiring, having been playing the whole second half. Down to 14 men. And it was a fantastic offload to Scantlebury who finished it off. And gives Bishop Stortford the bonus point. Tom Banks with his third conversion of the game. Bishop Stortford leading 29-15. Final minute of the game now. Sale FC trying to rescue a losing bonus point. Off it, blue. Fought very hard in this second half. Down to 13 men at one point. And now they have a chance through Lawrence. Looking to work the right hand side. Passes behind Postlebury who's found himself on the wing but he manages to retreat. Picking the ball up on the Bishop Stortford 10 metre line. So LFC managing to keep hold of the ball. Bradley working the left hand side. And he Hughes sees a gap and he's sprinting through. Get on to nine. He can go on to the try line. He comes back inside. Inside ball to Ailes. Incredible covering challenge by Bishop Stortford. And the referee gives a penalty. Ailes was held. What a covering challenge by the defender. I'll tell you a second. And that will be the end of the game here. Say LFC with a chance right you at the end to retrieve with a losing Vernis point, but unfortunately not. It's just not been their night tonight, and Bishop Stortford will kick the ball into to touch, touch. Yeah. and end this. Okay, that is now game time. We are in the red. And an enthralling encounter between Bishop Stortford and CLFC comes to an end. Bishop Stortford taking the game, 29 points to 15.